Hey guys, Mike Henry here, and we're talking about the Ream Hybrid Heat Pump Water Heater. This video is going to be centered around ducting. Now in a previous video entitled Room Air Requirements, we explained that because this unit needs a certain amount of air to operate, there are minimum requirements that need to be met for room air. And if those requirements can't be met, then air needs to be brought in from somewhere else or directed to another location or possibly both. One way of accomplishing this is to use fully louvered doors or to have a minimum amount of opening at the bottom of a partially louvered door. A much more efficient way of moving air into and out of the location of the heater is by using standard and approved HVAC ductwork and fittings. Duct adapters can easily be added to the water heater on either the inlet, the outlet, or both for a seamless transition to that standard ductwork. Ducting is only necessary when there isn't enough air in the room that the heater is located in. However, it's always a good option. Think of a certain part of the house that's always warmer than the rest of the house. If you could either get the air from that room to supply the heater or direct the cooler air from the heater to that room or both, that'd certainly be a great idea. Imagine getting that really warm air from the attic ducted to the heater and then blowing the cool air right back up into the attic. That would certainly help with the overall cooling of the house during those hotter summer months. Or what if you could get air from directly under the refrigerator to supply the heat pump? While the heat pump is running, that steady flow of heat from the fridge isn't flowing into your kitchen, which is probably one of the hottest rooms in the house. Then you could either duct that cooler air right back into the kitchen or redirect it anywhere else you'd like. What about during those winter months? You certainly wouldn't want to add more cool air to the house since you're already spending money to warm it up. Not a problem. By redirecting the ductwork to the outside of the house, you'd just be getting rid of it. This can be done with a series of dampers in the ductwork. You would just manually shift them over at the change of season, allowing you to duct it into a room inside of the house or ducting it to the outside of the house. Inlet and outlet adapters, terminations for ducting either inside or outside of the house, and the Ream approved damper kit that you see here, along with other accessories, can be ordered through our parts division, or you can check with your local supplier. Now these following tables show those accessories and their part numbers, maximum allowable run lengths for different duct sizes, and equivalent feet or loss for those accessories. Here's a list of all the duct accessories part numbers and what they're used for. These links represent the total of the inlet plus the outlet in any combination. Seven, six, and five inch diameter ducting is supported. Duct reducers must be installed within 10 feet of the unit or within two feet of the end of the duct. Flexible bends greater than 45 degrees are considered elbows. Their inner radius should never be less than their diameter. If tighter radius bends are needed, a rigid elbow must be used. The maximum number of elbows or bends are shown in the brackets. If ducting exhausts to the outside, the ream duct adapter should be used no further than 10 feet from the unit. This prevents outside air from coming into the living space. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.